guys, it's iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you an overview of the new iMovie update. To start, the interface overall looks very different and more clean than it did before. The way importing media works now is a bit different. There is a dedicated button in the iMovie toolbar. The camera capture window and the file importing window are now unified into one import window. iMovie is now able to import photos into events as well as videos. Instead of copying the selected files on default, iMovie instead refers to them. No moving is needed. So let's make a new movie project and we see a new interface. There's also a couple extra themes brought over from the iOS version of iMovie. So when you are on your project, the clip viewer is now on the top part of the window and the editing interface on default is on the bottom part of the window. So now let's import some photos into our project as well as some videos. You can see click and track interface is the same as before. So let's add a second video layer. If you drag a video clip on top of a base clip now, it will only give you the replace options. Double clicking on a clip brings you to the clip trimmer instead of the inspector window like before. In order to crop a clip, add a filter, or apply a picture in picture effect, you need to click on the adjust icon. Since we have selected a second video layer, this icon is appearing. And since there's no advanced tools anymore, these options like green screen, side by side, and picture in picture are located in this toolbar menu now. Other editing options such as color correction, cropping, stabilization, and video filters are located also in this menu now. Going back to the first color correction tab, we see new features like automatic match color and skin tone balance adjusters. Next, in the stabilization tab, we see new sensitivity settings for rolling shutter correction. The Titles and Transitions toolbar is now in the lower left-hand corner of the iMovie interface. There is no new transitions, but there are several new tile styles and fonts. Here are a couple of them. Now, in order to navigate in the iTunes, Sound Effects, and GarageBand menus, click on the small drop-down menu right under the Import button. Another new feature in iMovie is iMovie Theater. This feature allows you to sync our finished projects on iCloud so you can view them on any iOS device, Mac, or Apple TV. Finally, in order to export your project, you now need to click on the Share button. Here you will see a list of sharing options. Thank you for watching this iMovie overview video. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about a topic I talked about in this video, write it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to me if you want to see more videos about the new iMovie. Thank you for watching this video.